Yes, it is a 2023 Pursuit Dual Console DC266 with maximum horsepower twin 200 Yamahas, Neptune gray hull, gray engines. It's a good look. Uh, boat is 27 feet 4 inches overall, 8 foot 9 on the beam, about 6,800 pounds dry. Uh, also has a 139 gallon fuel capacity about 20 gallons of fresh water uh, but this guy is going to be listed soon we'll put the full listing on the website so you can check out all the pictures but this video will hopefully do it justice uh, I think I said 22 hours but as you can see as with all pursuits this thing is definitely ready for the ocean very steep entry some very aggressive lifting strikes on this one and then a big reverse on the chine there to keep you as dry as possible for being out in the ocean uh, through stem windless don't see all that all that often on boats of this size and it does kind of pull up in there a little bit more we gotta suck that up in there stainless steel anchor um, neptune gray all the way through with a i think that is a white platinum bootstripe but this boat might as well be brand new like I said, 2023, has 22 hours on it. We'll go ahead and get it serviced up, ready for sale. And we'll hop on inside with your three-step garlic ladder. Should be low enough. These are kind of nice too, because with fins, you can board easier. And you have a nice wide platform here as well. Climb up in there. Trim tabs. Oh, what I was going to say with the running surface. Ocean going. You see how aggressive the dead rises in the back i think it maintains 21 degrees all the way through the older model of this used to have a more round transom so this one uh sea handling and uh staying steady in a heavier sea state this hull does a phenomenal job again big platform on the splash well you can get all the way through to the other side that i think is your water vent there entry little door get your fresh water and your raw water some rod holders in the combing there, some combing pads to lean against. JL audio all over the place, gigantic hard top. This is one of the things I like the most about Pursuit. They kind of uh, started this in 2011 with the integrated fiberglass windshield. So instead of seeing that aluminum scaffolding, you get a nice big windshield, plenty of visibility. We also have all the canvas that goes in here with eyes and glass to fully enclose the helm area so if it did get kind of crappy out you just flip this window close and close that open this door and you have some more storage in here too bow filler with cushions get one big cushion out here but you can fully enclose this area keep it nice and dry we'll go back to the aft cockpit show you a few more features so we did the additional seat then you have the aft forward facing seat pops all the way down and then we have the cup holders back here that fold down so when you want to use it as like a picnic boat and then when you want to fish you just put everything away and we have our 20 gallon live well and insulated fish box slash cooler this does drain overboard but it is not macerated so keep that in mind another thing pursuit is very good at all of their hatches are resin transfer molded so they're super thick i mean this is over an inch thick and uh they vacuum the resin through it to get a better ratio of fiberglass and resin so it makes them super strong without adding a ton of weight so even a hatch this big and you stand in the middle of it you can bounce around and not feel any kind of flex. And then also their mechanical space is always nice and clean. He did add a uh, 36 volt uh, lithium battery for the trolling motor. I don't know if the trolling motor is gonna be included with the sale, but we'll clarify that and it will be on the details of the listing. But all of these service items are easy to get to. Thrill is easy to get to, batteries. Uh, this is your fuel tank access for your level sender and your valves. And we have a little wet bar cutting surface sink with fresh water storage down here put a little garbage can in there or stuff always room for stuff another cooler space 
everything on the boat is designed to drain overboard um this one we do have the white courtesy lights and we also added the blue mid-level lighting so this boat is really really well equipped i think we did most everything on this one we initially sold it to him it's unfortunate he is moving or i doubt he would be selling it tackle storage your dc panel is here batteries voltmeter for your house battery all your breakers windlass adjustable captain's chair nice comfortable helm with all the yamaha digital electric controls so we have our kivas fob it's actually one of the first boats we got back then that had all the new generation yamaha stuff on it and there's your hours trip and total jl audio the newer medium master 105 Lenko trim tabs, tilt, steering. Uh, let's go over to the head. Nice, real, real corning. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that or not, but it is corning countertops. Real wood veneers is what I was going to say. So if this gets wet, it's not going to pit or bubble because it is real wood. But, you know, nice electric head, overboard discharge. And that discharge is through the seacock in this gigantic storage area in the deck so you can see all the space and there's the through hole down there a ton of room in there put all kinds of stuff again more stuff and then to the front of the boat again filler cushion and then these cushions stay attached. Uh, you can see there is a storage cover for up front as well with all these snaps. And then huge storage areas here. Again, drain overboard. Everything on the boat is designed to drain overboard. Trolling motor mount. We will clarify if the trolling motor is coming with it. And then we have our ground tackle. Remote can plug in there so you can run the windlass. All stainless pop-up cleats. Heavy duty stuff. You can see the helm storage canvas, and then we have an aft cover as well. It'll cover the entire aft cockpit from up here all the way down to the sides. So, we will post pricing as I don't have that set with him yet. I think this listing is going to come in somewhere around two fifteen, um, which, considering a new 2024 model, is probably going to be in the mid two hundreds. Uh, and then the only other consideration is if you need a trailer or not. But if you're interested in this or any other boat that we have listed, give us a call. 904-644-7631 or you can get us on our website yamahamarinejax.com